Alrighty, let's get to the unboxing. <laughs> this is the worst unboxing ever. I wanted to do it so neatly. Daisy, I think it is time for me to get a new microphone for my camera. What do you think? Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and in today's video I'm going to be getting a new microphone that I'm going to unbox and test for you to find out if the new Rode Wireless Go mic is worth it. If you don't know, I used to work in the radio industry, so I've used a lot of different microphones over my time, whether it was out on the road reporting, chasing politicians with a handheld microphone, or in the studio with the most beautiful high-tech microphones with little popping shields and things like that to make your voice sound ultra quality. What I've found with doing videos for my YouTube channel is that I've kind of found microphones really annoying. When I used to shoot the videos on my phone, I would try and just use the little earbud that had the microphone part attached. <laughs> you can see Daisy. <laughs> and I've even used the Rode Lav mic, which is the little lapel mic that you can get that just clips onto your shirt. But what I always found annoying is that a lot of the time I'm doing videos around my kids and my cat and my dog, and I found like being attached via a wire quite annoying. Seriously? <laughs> Now the mouse is making noise. I've got my daughter's mice in here today because she was worried that one of her mice was gonna die. So I've had it here on my desk just to make sure that Gypsy is okay. Hello, are you coming out to say hello, Gypsy? Come on. Anyway, I have found that perhaps this Rode Wireless Go mic might be the perfect solution. Having a microphone, having better sound, it does elevate the quality of your videos. I'm about to ring this music store that has this Rode mic and see if they've got it in store and then I will go down and get it. We are back. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna attach it to my Canon G7X Mark III. It is now late night. I'm editing this video and I just wanted to pop in before I actually get into the unboxing and the review. What you'll notice is that the sound is very loud and I actually didn't know how to change the levels. So later on in the video, I'll show you how to actually change the levels on one of the parts of the microphone. So make sure you're watching right through right, this video. Let's get to the unboxing. <laughs> this is the worst unboxing ever. I wanted to do it so neatly. Okay, yeah. Ooh. I love how their microphones just come in this little pouch. Oh, look at them. These come in white as well, which actually were really beautiful. But I mostly wear black tops in my videos, so I thought I would stick with the black. This is the microphone. This is apparently the receiver. Apparently they come ready to go. Then here, this is a little wind shield and that actually clips on there. So if you're outside filming, you won't pick any wind noise if you've got this on it. Oh, you get two of those, cool. Is this a power cable? This connects to my actual camera. So here we have my Canon G7X Mark III. Let's get the receiver okay which is this one and we have to press and hold this down for three seconds then I attach this to my camera <laughs> I'm gonna touch it I'm gonna set it on there okay obviously that is not what it's gonna be <laughs> I either need something to attach it to. I actually saw someone who just put like a piece of Velcro or 3M Velcro tape or something like that, which they stuck onto there and then they put the other piece here or somewhere. Number three, get the other bit. There's a button under there and I press that for three seconds. Attach this to my shirt. You can see that I'm talking and see the little microphone levels are going up and down on the receiver. So now I just have to connect this here to the headphone jack. So 
so I've connected that. Do I have to face this any special way? I don't think so. so. Let's just say that I'm recording a bit here. This is with the microphone switched on. I'm not attached by any cords, which I feel really good about. Seems really free and easy, which is super, super cool. Now, one of the things that you might not like is this weird chunky box sitting on your chest. So what you can do is turn it around. You might not even see that low down on my shirt anyway. So you are now hearing this with the microphone on. Let's take out the little cord and see what it's like with no microphone. And this is me recording with no microphone plugged in. I don't know, can you hear any other little noises? Is the sound a little bit more echoey or tinny? Let's go take this outside. I'm gonna use this little windshield. Let's see how easily this clips on. That's the little microphone in the middle here. Now I'm gonna clip this on here. <laughs> That's definitely gonna look weird on my top, but I actually don't really care. Let's go film outside. So this is with no microphone stuck in at all. It's a little bit windy, can you see palm trees? Let's put this microphone back in again. Oh my gosh. Let's see, I wonder if the audio quality is much better. Let's test walking up this pathway. I'm really loving the wireless part of this setup. I'm gonna show you what I've worked out just from playing around with this, okay? What I noticed was that the sound was a little bit muffled. Like I thought it was fine, but obviously I'm not some sound guru. But what I thought was the sound was just a little bit full on, like I needed to turn the volume down or something. And guess what you can. <laughs> See how underneath on the receiver here, there's a little thing here that says DB. If you press that, that changes the little volume thing here. Now I'm gonna click it. Now when it came out of the box, it was that. See how that little volume thing is full up? And then when I click it once, it goes down to that. But then I click it again, it goes about halfway. That's kind of the level that you want. Oh, then just put the microphone down, didn't I? <laughs> which would have changed maybe the sound. So if you didn't know this, oh gosh, I really need to stop moving this. This is what's called an omnidirectional microphone, which kind of means that the microphone picks up from all around. It's fine that it's omnidirectional. So you just want to make sure that it's pointing or positioned in a way that is picking up your voice and not too much of the background noise. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with my new purchase. It's that mid price range type of microphone, but for $275, it really will elevate your videos, especially if you're doing those for business. I think if you were doing something fancier for like filmmaking or something like that, then perhaps you would look at something else. But for the type of videos that I'm doing, I think this is really great. I would also say that it's a really easy to use type microphone. So five out of five for user friendliness. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to this channel if you are trying to build your your brand utilizing videos online as well. And to keep the conversation going in the comments below, let me know what you think of this microphone. Is it good? Do you like it? Is there another type of microphone or any other piece of equipment that will help you create videos for your business that you would like me to unbox and review for you? I would love to know your suggestions. I'll see you in the next video.